Hi everyone, thanks for visiting AppChasers.com today. Uh, I want to show you a cool feature for anyone learning a new language. And this is built right into the iPhone and iPad operating system. So you can use this trick that I'm going to show you anywhere on your device. Now wouldn't it be cool if you're reading a document in a foreign language, wouldn't it be cool to uh, be able to instantly see the translation of a word into your mother tongue. For example, English in my case, um, but to be able to see an instant translation without having to use an app like Google Translate. Well, this is possible right in the iPhone and iPad operating system. Now this is built around the um, definition feature within iOS. So I'll show you what I mean here. Right now I've got a website opened up and of course it's in English so we don't need any translation but let's say we do want to define a word well you may have used this before it's been available for a little while but if you select a word and you simply tap on define it'll show you the pronunciation of that word it'll show you the meaning and then it'll also give you some derivatives of that word well what about for foreign language now well that's what we want to show you how to do here. So let's go into the Chinese version of this uh, web page here. Right now we're on jw.org. We'll just select the Chinese version of that same article. So now I have the Chinese language version of that same article open here. If I scroll down and uh, let's say I'm just reading this page and I'm doing pretty good, let's say reading the characters, but I come to a character that I don't know and I or maybe I think I know it, but I'm not quite sure. And I want to be able to understand which character that is and what it means in English. Maybe even see the pinyin. Can I do that? Well, yes, I can. Let's go ahead and select on a word. Now, it's going to select two characters because there are two characters that make up that word. So it automatically defaults to selecting both of them. Now let's tap on define. Uh-oh, we see no definition found. Well. Have we lost all hope? No, we haven't because this just means that we need to turn on that translation feature. We can do that with this dialog open up here. We'll tap on the lower left hand corner where it says manage. And this is going to show us the different languages that we have available. And a few of them have this cool translation feature. For example, as we're scrolling through, you see Japanese to English, Korean to English, simplified Chinese to English. Spanish to English. I'm interested in the simplified Chinese to English, so I'm going to download that. Now it's going to download the entire database of simplified Chinese to English uh, right here locally on my iPad. So let's let it finish up here and we'll see what happens. All right, so now I have it. So let's go back, uh, back out of there. Again, it says no definition found, but that's okay because we'll just tap out of that, tap on the word again. This time it's going to load up the Chinese definition. And what's even cooler, it shows us the pinyin, so we know it's pronounced gongzuo. And it tells us the English uh, translation of this Chinese. It says work, um, and then it gives some different examples of how to use that. It shows us job, and it shows us uh, different examples of how to use that. So it's very cool how this works, and it automatically knows which language uh, you're looking to um, translate uh, once you have it downloaded to your device, it knows. So it's great how you can use the uh, iPhone and iPad native operating system to perform a Google Translate-like operation right when you're just in any app. So let's show you another one here. I'd like to... Um, do this sometimes when I receive an email. Uh, right now I've got a, a friend who sent me an email here and he included in it a Chinese uh, cheng yu, which is an idiom. Well, those are sometimes the hardest to uh, figure out. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select this entire idiom. I'm gonna say define and there it is. It's tong bing xiang lian. And that shows us that it means fellow sufferers have mutual sympathy. So pretty cool how uh, you can use this to automatically be able to check your uh, language skills and maybe even learn something.
Uh, I like to use this too just when uh, typing in Chinese. So I've opened up uh, the drafts app here and I'm going to switch the keyboard over to Chinese and I'm going to type in something here uh, using of course pinyin input and then uh, Chinese characters as a result. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to type in uh, Shang D Sure. There we go. So there's the phrase. Now sometimes you may type in, uh, you may be typing in Chinese or another language that you're learning and you might wonder, uh oh, did I use the right character or did I use the right word, the one that I wanted? Well, with this feature, you can go ahead and select the word that you want that you're questioning. Maybe it's not the right one. You can hit define. And uh, yep, that's the right one. It says to exist. Or basically, this phrase says, uh, God does exist. So pretty cool way to use this feature to translate text uh, from a foreign language and see the definition in Eng English right on your iPhone and iPad. This has been AppChasers.com. <laughs>